Hello, I'm Stephen West, Emerson's Business Development Manager for AMS Trex Device Communicator, and I'm excited to share with you another powerful feature about the AMS Trex that makes you available to be able to do more with one tool in the field safer and more efficiently. And that app today is the Loop Diagnostics. So for whatever reason you need to go out in the field and, and diagnose or troubleshoot problems with a Fisher Digital Valve Controller or DVC or anyone's positioner, but in this case we're using a Fisher DVC, and we can go out whether there's loop power or not. We can isolate it from loop power and do our own troubleshooting. Don't need a separate power supply and we can actually stroke this valve. So I'm in my loop diagnostics app. I'm connected to my DVC. I can go ahead and power this and it'll ask me to want to start at zero. I'll start at zero percent or four milliamps or 20. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now I am powering this DVC. Do not need loop power, do not need any other source. And now that I'm also supplying current, I can very quickly do a step test. 12 milliamps, go to 50%. You can hear it ramping up. We can do a full open at 20 milliamps, so 100%. Back to 50. With the course adjustment, there are fine adjustment arrows. Or I can push the pencil and put in any amount that I want. If I go into more options and go into change the duration of the current change, I can put that to five seconds. So now I'm doing a ramp instead of a step test. So once I hit OK to that, go to eight milliamps. It's slowly increasing the milliamps over that five second period. We'll go to 75%. Speed the process up. So increasing the milliamp output, and we just go to 20. And that is how quickly you can go and troubleshoot and stroke and do a step and ramp test on a Fisher digital valve controller without any other tools using your AMS Trex device communicator. For more information, check out our website.